What's up everybody, it's your boy Trizzy, back again with another video. Today's video is on NBA 2K20. I know a lot of guys just got the game because it's on sale. I'm going to be showing you guys the best build in my opinion. It's the most versatile, it can shoot, dunk, and defend. So we're going to open up our My Player Builder. We're going to pick the position of small forward, and you can pick whatever hand you want to shoot with. And of course, the number is also your choice. So once it comes to skill breakdown, we're going to pick the pie chart that has majority defense and majority shooting. Next up, over to the physical profile. This all depends on how you and your team plan on using your position. I chose the very last pie chart because when we play together and then we play rec, I usually play small forward or when we play park, I usually do play the two. And then finally, when it comes to setting your potential, you're going to copy what I have right here. We want to have 17 shooting badges and 20 defensive badges. As you can see right there, my three pointer is a 70, but trust me, it does not matter this year, guys. Especially once you hit 99, all your attributes will go up, but trust me, it does not matter. Even when you're at below a 95, you can still hit greens. I still hit greens. I'm going to be showing you guys proof at the end of this video. When it comes to body shape, you can pick whatever you want. It does not matter. When it comes to height, we're going to go 6'9". Trust me, guys, we're going to go taller. I know it does take your stats down, but it is worth it, especially if you're going to end up playing power forward when you're playing rec. When it comes to weight, we are going to go with 210 because we still do want to get past these small forwards if we are guarding them, and we want to be able to clamp up point guards and centers no matter what it is. Finally, for the wingspan, this is really controversial, but personally, trust me, max it out. I know it takes your shot down, but it's worth it. Trust me, if you're, especially if we're locked down, what's the point of having a lockdown with tiny T-Rex arms? You want to max out that wingspan so you can get the best defense, and trust me, you will still be able to shoot. And then finally, for our takeover, we are going to pick the lockdown badge. And as you can see right here, our build is going to be called a rebounding wing. And right here, I'm going to show you guys my personal build right now. As you can see, it's a 97 overall. Okay, I've grinded around. You know, it was a grind to get it, but trust me, it's worth it. The shooting badges are hard to get, but I have also uploaded a shooting badge video. If you guys want to see that, it makes it much easier. It's worth the grind. Next up, the badges are also your choice. Personally, I do run Hall of Fame Corner Specialist and Catch and Shoot. This is because I'm sitting in the corner and wreck and park games, and if a defender gives me a little bit of space, I am pulling it, and it is going to be green. The defensive badges also can change based on how you and your teammates play, but Hall of Fame Intimidator is a must. It's constantly popping up when there are guys in the paint trying to shoot. So the rest of this video is going to be me showing you guys what the build can do in park. So as you can see right here, I'm sitting in the corner like I always do, and my guys do whatever they want. But the minute I do get a little bit of space, my center gets the board, he's kicking out to me. Even if the guy closes out, I'm still pulling up, it's still green. But the guys wondering, I am using Gem Shot 38 with Hall of Fame Quick Draw. Some guys like it gold, but personally I do use Hall of Fame. Right there, once again, boom, green light in the corner every time. Also, I am running Hot Zone Hunter. It's a big badge that comes in handy, especially if your corner is your hot zone like me. And a lot of dudes that do play the rebinding wings don't have the jump shot meter on, but it's your choice. Personally, I do keep it on. I did play with it off for a bit, but it's your choice. As you can see, your pass accuracy is fine too. You can get fast break points like that too. And you also do get the dunk packages from the park. So as you can see right there, quick through the legs like it's nothing. Last highlight from the game, you know, every shot's been green. As you can see right here for the game, quick corner three, same spot. It's always green, man. You never miss. As you guys can see right here, I scored a quick 13 points, you know, didn't miss 5 for 5 from the field goal, 3 for 3 when it comes to shooting 3-pointers. Here's a play that we always do, everybody does kind of guard the 3 really hard once they know you can hit constantly, so it's easy, quick cut to the basket, usually always goes in the center, usually never helps. That being said guys, this is the end of the video, make sure you guys like and subscribe, thank you guys so much for the support, it means a lot. If you have any questions, feel free to ask it down below in the comments. You already know who it is man, it's your boy Trizzy, and I'm out.